This video is going to show you how to create the cow catcher piece of your miniature train project. Uh, and we're going to create this by starting with a loft tool. And we'll create these sort of five sided triangular pieces that you see on the top here. There's one that's kind of smaller up here, and there's a larger one on the top. So we'll create those two sketches and loft to connect them. And then we will add a shell. Then we'll add one of the uh, kind of offset. Uh, extrusions on the front, mirror it across, and then we'll add the connector pieces on the back and then we'll chamfer them. Okay, so let's go up to File, New Design, and then I'll create a sketch. And this time I'm going to choose the bottom plane. We go over to our drawing. Uh, again, what we're going to draw is we're going to do this in two parts. We're going to draw uh, the bigger one, is what I'm going to do first. So we're, we're going to draw this line here but you'll notice both of these triangular pieces the the middle point is centered and they're aligned here so the way i'm going to draw it so that those parts are centered is i'm going to start at the midpoint of this bottom line right here so that line is 1.8 inches so if i'm starting at the center of that and going down that's actually going to be 0.9 so um I'll go up to the line tool and we'll just draw a line that is 0.9 inches. And then we'll just make our way around from there. So we'll go here next and we'll do 0.25. Zoom in so you can see. And then I'm going to go ahead and just freehand the rest of the profile. And we can add in dimensions. So I will, um, I'm going to hover my mouse over the origin and then just go up just so I have it as a reference point. So that will be the point. And then I'm just going to place this roughly where it needs to be. Make sure you can see that dashed line over there because that this line should be equal or it should connect uh, where that one is. So I'll go down a little bit. And again, make sure you can see this dashed line. You might have to move your mouse over kind of like what I did and click there. And then let's just connect it back to where we started. Okay, and I'll start by dimensioning this line. This one again is going to also be 0.9. And then this line here should also be 0.25. And we'll have to go back to our drawing here to figure out the other dimensions. So from the bottom line to the top, the point of the triangle, it's one inch. So from here, to here, that is one. And we just got to figure out from the point over now. So from the point over is 0 0.9. Okay, and this one is now done. So I'm going to click Finish Sketch. And then we want to draw the other one on top of this, but we want to offset it so it's not directly on top of it. So we need to figure out how how far up is it going to be. So uh, again, we can see the smaller triangle here and the distance from the bottom one to the top one is 0.75. So I will go up to the offset plane tool, click this sketch, and then this is going to be 0 0.75 inches up. Okay, let's create a new sketch and then we'll click this plane. All right, and we can see our other one we drew previously below this. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to uh, create, project, and then I'm just going to click on this point right here and then click OK because that's going to be our starting point. We want to make sure that the points here are aligned on, on our. Uh, drawing. And again, we're going to draw this one the same way. We'll draw like half the line and then just go around from there. So if we go back to our drawing, this line this time is 1.2. So we're going to just draw a line at 0.6. Okay. And I believe this line is the same length. Yeah, that is also 0.25. Okay, and again, just like last time, I'm just going to kind of go around and finish it and then add dimensions later. OK, 
Okay, so again, going to add dimension. So this line is also going to be 0.6. This one is going to be 0.25. And then if we go back to our drawing, so from the bottom line to the top of the point, it's 0 0.75. And then the distance across from the point to the edge is 0.6. All right, this one is also done, so we'll click Finish on this. And then I will go to Create, Loft, and then all we have to do is click on our two sketches, and you'll notice it should connect the two, so I'll click OK. All right, and one thing you'll notice, the home view is kind of backwards right now. Like right now it says this is actually the front when that is the back. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip it over, click on Back, right click on it go down to here where it says set current view as front and then i need to also reset home as well so click front and then click the top right corner right click on that and then go down to set current view as home fit to view so when you click home it should look like this Okay, what we need to do next is we need to shell the bottom. So I'm gonna rotate it so we can see the bottom and then click this and then click shell. And then if we go back to our drawing here, the shell distance is given right here. So it's given us 0.1. So we'll just type in 0.1, hit enter. Okay, next we'll do the uh, extrusions on the front faces. So I'll click this one and then we'll click create sketch. And then we'll use a offset tool to do this. So then I'll, I'll just click on the outline here and then go back to the drawing to figure out what that distance is. And you can see on this one here, it's given as 0.1. So notice this is going outside. So I wanna type negative 0.1. Okay, and then we'll click finish and we will extrude that in. If we look at our drawing, that is extruded in 0 0.05. If you go to extrude, okay, that's going to be a cut. And I'll just type in negative 0 0.05. Okay, you'll notice it made that. So instead of following the rest of those steps again, I'm just gonna mirror this other one across. Uh, so what we can do is I'm gonna click on the uh, arrow next to origin, and then I wanna find the plane that is going to cut it this way. And I believe that is YZ. So I'm gonna click on that, and then I'll click offset plane. And then just make sure that is positioned correctly it is I'll click OK so then what I'm going to do is go to create down to mirror make sure the drop down says features and then for objects I will click the extrude right down here that we just did and then for mirror plane click select and then all you want to do is click on the plane that we just added and you should start to see it already forming over there and then just click OK and you'll notice that all, the other side will be done now. So uh, let's go ahead and hide this plane and then we'll keep going. So just click the eyeball under plane two and then we can just go ahead and collapse those because we won't need them anymore. All right, the last thing we kind of need to add is just the connector pegs on the back. So I'll click the, uh, the back face here and then we'll create a sketch. And so the back is made, there are three of these pegs and then you'll notice the size of them is 0.125. So let's just go ahead and place them roughly where they need to be. Again, they are 0.125 in diameter.
And then let's add some dimensions to them. So let's see. Okay, so from the corner, the bottom ones are 0.125 up. And then from the edges or from the corners, they are 0.275. So we'll go ahead and add those. So from the bottom, 0.125. And then from the corner, it is 0.275. Now the middle one, we already kind of have centered, but we need to figure out what the height of that is. So if we flip back, the height is given in this view right here, and it is 0.625. And then let's go ahead and add the horizontal dimension as well, just so it's fully constrained. Okay, we'll click Finish Sketch. And then we need to extrude these out. Let me check what the dimension is. So those get extruded out 0.125. Okay, last thing we need to do is add a chamfer to them. So go to modify chamfer. Now let me check the dimension. It is 0.01. Just type in 0.01. Okay, and that is the cow catcher for your miniature train.